right, let's cool it down. Take a nice big inhale in. Exhale. It's so amazing to finish your workout and do some well-deserved stretches. So just reach over to the side and reach. Really breathing in, inhaling in through your nose, exhaling out. Just allowing yourself to enjoy all those good post-workout feelings, right? All right, grab onto your hands behind you. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and allow yourself to just fall all the way forward. Take a nice deep stretch here. Release the hands over the head. Bend the knees and straighten the legs. And again, bend the knees and straighten the legs. Good, and then just release the hands here. And take the legs out nice and wide, toes are pointed forward, and we're just gonna go side to side. Good, and then right away we're gonna turn over into a nice little pyramid pose here. Take a nice big inhale in, and then exhale, reach the crown of the head down towards your toes. And then again, inhale in. Lift up the chest, lift up the crown of the head. Exhale, reach the crown of the head to your toes, forehead to knee. One more time, inhale in. And exhale, release. And then stay here for a few breaths. Just allowing the upper body to just kind of hang loose. Even all the different vertebrae, allow them to spread apart and release, just letting gravity do its thing. Good, and then let's switch sides. So place left foot forward, right foot back. Inhale, reach through the crown of the head. Exhale, release the head down, forehead to knee. Inhale in, lift the chest up. Exhale, release down. Again, inhale in. Feel the back muscles turn on for just a second as you look forward, and then release forehead to knee, and just let it go. Cool down stretches are one of the best ways to always be taking care of your body in between your workouts to make sure that you're still mobilizing, stretching your body. Good, and then bring the feet together. So I always like to say, so reach the crown of the head forward and then release down. I always like to say that cool down stretches are ways so that you can actually like move faster, work harder, and perform better in your next workout. Good, and let's step the left foot back, come into a nice lunge. And then we're gonna shift it back. And reach forward. Just remember these cool down stretches are great for creating mobility, for improving flexibility. And if you're looking for really deep stretching where you're gonna really, really gain big, big, big flexibility gains into your splits, I actually have a whole course called Splits 30 that's amazing. And I'll link it for you because that takes a little bit more time because we're actually lengthening and stretching out the muscles. Good, now hold here. And then we're gonna bring the block right here, lower the elbows down, and you can stay right here. And if you wanna add a little bit more, I like to add in a thigh stretch, so I like to reach around, grab for my foot, and stretch. It's definitely a deep one. But I know I do a lot of legs in my workouts, so opening up the fronts of the thighs always feels really, really good. Let's go ahead and switch legs right here. And then just reach forward into that low lunge. And then back into a nice half splits pose. Reach it forward. Oh, this feels so, so good. 
And just remember to breathe because your breath is going to send a signal to your body that it's okay and safe to stretch and to release the muscles. So yes, our mind has a lot to do with our flexibility and allowing yourself to just fully let go is really, really important. So that deep breath is going to help you do that, get you into that nice parasympathetic nervous system so that your body can release. Good, if you wanna add the thigh stretch, whew, it's a good one. that out and then now we're gonna take pigeon pose now if you know you need a little support there you can just sit up on the block and lean yourself forward and that'll definitely open up those external hip rotators but I'm gonna do it without the block but just know that that's available to you there I like to use the block as a little headrest <laughs> it's always nice so just again, allow your body to release. This is one of my most favorite stretches ever because it releases the low back. I tend to get kind of tight in my low back. So this one just feels so good in the low back, the hip flexors, the glutes, the hamstrings. And we're gonna hold here for a little while longer. So get comfy and just relax. there and lift up nice and tall this is your time to connect with you and your beautiful body this is always a great meditative time when you're stretching so just make sure that all of your thoughts right now are very positive whether it's just imagining something new for yourself or just feeling proud of yourself for being here on your mat. Whatever it is, keep it positive. This is a really good time. Good, and then come on up. We're gonna do a nice forward fold here. So just release all the way forward. And so I like to take the block actually and put it behind my feet. So you do have to have some flexibility. So if you're there and you want that extra challenge, then go for it. I just love it because it gives you that extra little something to stretch into. Just allow the body to unwind, to release. So grateful for your beautiful, healthy body. Just know that any goal you have, you are so worthy of that goal for yourself. And any struggle you might be dealing with, it's there to help you grow, to learn, and transform. Good, and then let's take a quick seated twist right here to ring out that spine. Ah, oh, feels so good. Going on to the other side. And release. Feel free to take a Shavasana right now or just relax to some beautiful music. 
because I know you probably feel relaxed just like I do. So great job, and I will see you in the next video. Amazing job, that wasn't easy, so you should be proud of yourself. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, because that really helps me out to create more videos like this. And if you're the type of person that thrives on accountability and progress tracking, then download my Stretchy Fit app. You can start absolutely free, be a part of a loving community, and get my best bar and yoga programs. All right, I'll see you in the next workout. Bye.